Hi my friends, how are you? Today I'll be making another Vicky E Tia video for you. It will be about a dairy product. I bet you won't guess. It starts with a Q. I bet you're a little bit closer now. Yeah, starts with a Q, U. Q and then a U. A R C K. It'll be a Vicky E T A video, like I already said. Um, but I misspelled it. It's Q U A R C K. No, I misspelled it again. Q U. A-R-K. Oh, God. But I got it. I didn't mess up. I bought it in this container. Right here. Hold on. Right here. It says Kvalik. Kvalik. It's a soft cheese. Have you ever had it before? It's delicious. I like it. You can put fruit in it, bananas, apples, whatever choose you. Whatever well, 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 fruit you choose. Yeah, you can eat it with just sugar. You can use it for making totten like cakes, beautiful cakes and everything. So I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on just a second. Am I in the camera? Yeah. Actually, I've never bought this one before, this brand. I had a different brand before. It says versatile soft cheese, great for dips, sauces, spreading, baking, and much more. Yeah, when you make a dip. Um, now it says um, potassium sulfate in this one and the other one I don't think it was in it but oh, 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 why does she keep talking about that kind of stuff why doesn't she just get right to the subject and show us what the cheese looks like the soft cheese um, oh <laughs> it popped right in my face I'm wearing my grandmother's ring that she bought me um, for my confirmation when I turned 14. That was a special thing for me. I never forget it. And I like Qualk too. I never forget it. I had it when I was a kid. Oh, smell it. Let's see what Wikipedia says. You hear the owl outside? I hear the owl. It says Kvalik. Look. I guess there are two owls talking to one another. I'm talking to you and they're talking to each other. And you and me, you and me are talking about Kvalik. That's right. So, it says Kvalik dairy product. Oh. I don't think you can see. Kvalik or Kvalik. Kvalik, let's call it Kvalik because that's what I always say. It's a type of fresh dairy product made by warming soured milk until the desired amount of curdling is met and then straining it. It can be classified as fresh acid set cheese there you got it let me show you again see if you can see it i don't know i don't know there you go don't go away i have the cheese ready i'm gonna scoop it out look right into my bowl Look at what it looks like. Here, do you see? Can you see it? Is it in focus? Oh, it's 
smells good. Oh, I love it. So, let me get my spoon and let's eat and see what else we can find. Now, since this is everything, yeah, I'm in here. Since this is a Vicky E. Tia video, um, I will eat what I read from. So that's what it'll be cheese. I never call it soft cheese. I mean, I don't have a problem smiling, but I don't call it soft cheese. I call it quark. Quark. Simple as that. Quark. Mmm. Mmm. Here. Take some. Sure, you're welcome. The bowl's right there. How do you like yours? You do? Mm -hmm. Actually, this quark tastes a little bit more sour than I'm used to. Mm, it's good. It says traditional quark can be made without rennet, but in modern dairy, small quantities of rennet are typically added. It is soft, widened and unaged and usually has no salt added. It is common in the cuisines of German-speaking countries. Germany, that's where I am from, Austria, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, uh, Luxembourg, Luxembourg, Northern Europe, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Iceland, Latvia, Lithuania, Norway, Sweden, and the Netherlands. Hungary, Belgium, Albania, Israel, Romania, or Slavic peoples. Czech, Slovaks, Poles, Russians, Ukrainians, and Belarusians. I may have said this wrong, Belarusians, Russians, Slovenes, Croats, Macedonians, Bulgarians, and Serbs, and of um, Ashkenazi Jews. It's a dictionary sometimes translated as curd cheese, cottage cheese, farmer cheese, or junket. Junket? I don't know if I said that correctly. In Germany, quark and cottage cheese are considered to be different types of fresh cheese, while in Eastern Europe, Cottage cheese is usually viewed as a type of quark. Here, for example, Russian for cottage cheese is this literally grainy quark. And here, I'll let you read the rest. You can read about it on Wikipedia. Hmm. Really good. I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. A quark kiss tonight? <laughs>